Hey, what's up, YouTube people? This is Jake, Viper 15 Alpha 41. Last week I talked about the uh, steps I'm taking to get that 220 ready to go. I have some new bulkheads that came in, and I got some caps to cap off the bulkheads, so now the tank should hold water. Before I put any water in it, I've got to get this stand ready to go. The stand came with the tank. It's old, it's been kind of abused, as you can see. Uh, you know, a lot of the pieces have come apart, and so my plan is, of course, I'm going to try to get everything put back together. But one of the things I've noticed is the stand, it's racked a little bit. It's out of, it's out of square. So I'm going to get it squared back up, and then I'm going to put some additional bracing in it to hold it square. And uh, as I look at the tank, I realize, you know, that... As I look at how it's built, you can see you've got this plane, this top piece, just sits on uh, this board and then these pieces. And you can see they're all just one inch, one by, looks like two, and then however wide these are, but it's still just one inch thick. And uh, now it does wrap the majority of the tank, but I have some concerns about whether that's structurally strong enough to hold up, you know, 1,600 pounds of water. Uh, so my plan is, I'm gonna, I've got some old lumber laying around from old projects. I'm gonna take some of these two by fours, I'm gonna cut them to length, and put them in these gaps from top edge down to the bottom. I think I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, and then on the front, this this part is the front of the tank. I'm going to do the same thing on the inside. One, two, three, four. And then probably some on the ends to beef this up. And uh, hopefully that'll be strong enough. Uh, we'll see. I'll let you guys know. Uh, appreciate you watching. And I'll uh, give a follow-up on this when I got all the wood in. Hey guys, Jake again. I'm been working on the tank for a little while. I guess we'll call this part two of the second video in the series. Don't know how many videos are going to be in this series. What I found with this tank stand is uh, the wood itself is all solid. There's no rot. There's there's not a, no, you know, it's not broken anywhere. But it was entirely held together with staples, heavy duty, probably three quarter inch. Staples, but staples nonetheless. No screws, no glue. So what I've gone through and done is every seam, every connection I've added screws to all the way through the uh, entire tank. This is the bottom. We're actually it's still sitting upside down. So this is the the bottom seal. Every seam, every connection has been reinforced with screws. Uh, the seams that are not going to be structural i just used some you know half inch drywall screws like you know that this seems not going to go anywhere however where i added support that i beefed up all four of the corners with two by fours uh i used and you know you can't use drywall screws for that stuff so i used some construction screws and these came from uh, i think lowe's and so now the uh, tank it had that problem where it was racking well, now it is a thousand times more solid. I, I was concerned about this. Let me show you this. See this added two by four? This is the front, what will be, the, what will face out. These are doors on both sides. The doors offer no structural support. So and I was concerned about the, the weight right here in the center of the tank. So I went ahead and added two by four there. It, you know, it's tightly snugged in underneath the top seal. Well, this is the bottom seal, all the way down to the top seal, screwed in. And so I think that, you know, it might be a little overkill. I don't know, but better safe than sorry. Um, so now I'm pleased with the tank. I'm going to turn it up, right side up, and get a uh, mom to come out here and look at it. The wife's uh, 
one of her hobbies is refinishing furniture so she's going to decide what kind of stain needs to go on here so glad i get to pass that off to her hopefully maybe the next video i put up will have the tank on the stand in the fish room might be a little ambitious plan but we'll see uh, so until next time again thanks for watching please subscribe please share throw me a thumbs up that uh, makes me feel good when people uh, watch these shows and or these little videos and uh, care any questions please uh you know leave a comment i promise i'll get back to you real quick so until next time i hope everybody has a great day